back to my channel thank you so much for being here I really appreciate it I wish this went without saying but I'm just gonna say it because ugh, the times we live in are mad but anyone of any race or origin nationality sexuality gender identity belief religion everyone is welcome on this channel this should be a free open space for people to celebrate who they are and yeah I just wanted to say that so Welcome. Today we have another thrift haul, which is super exciting. I found some really cool pieces in these last few months. Of course it's gonna be masculine, of course it's gonna be feminine, of course it's gonna be in between and neither and both. I'm serving all the looks today in all the different categories. Sans category, that's what I should say, no categories, just fun looks. Let's get into it. First item on the agenda, dresses. So this is the first dress that I picked up in Provincetown when I was there a few weeks ago. It's from a brand called Soprano, which I will link to down below. So this first dress I paired with my classic Gap white boots, as well as my classic red hat that I thrifted from my college thrift store, and a strand of pearls that I got from a place called Scrap which is a reuse specialty store in San Francisco here. The pearls and dress don't have, the pearls and hat do not have, the pearls and, the pearls and dress, oh my god. The pearls and hat do not have brands, so sorry about that. And the earrings are from my grandmother. The next dress that we have for today is something that I've shown in a video before, but it's this really lovely vintage, I think it's just like a nightgown, but I wear it as a dress with these gorgeous see-through sides and this crazy beautiful lace detailing that I just think is so old-fashioned and elegant. And with this, I also just threw a top on there to show how it could be worn a little bit more casually. I don't know if that's casual, but uh, maybe in my definition, but... And that top is from International Concepts, and it was thrifted from Le Goodwill, like most things that I get. I also paired this dress with a pair of jeans, which I showed in my video about how to spice up your style, I believe it was. And so I tucked it in and made it into more of a top, and these jeans are from a store in Amsterdam, a thrift store. And the brand is, I don't know how to pronounce it, Fain, Fanhi, Fa, Fani? Ah. Up next we have this beautiful purple dress that I love. It's backless and just, I think, really flattering on me. It's hard sometimes to find dresses that fit my frame. Like, I have wide shoulders and a lot of times dresses like this one will just be really snug and tight. So to have a looser, stretchier material is a blessing. And then also for it to be backless, just like my back can just sort of like breathe and hang out and doesn't have to be worried about like being all squeezed in there. So that's really nice. The next dress that I got is from Goodwill as well. And the brand is Bo Babu. Babu. Why are these brands all named so confusingly? But I love the print. It's this really sweet floral print and it's not too loud, which I'm surprised that I like because I'm a very loud dresser. But it's really muted and I think just like a nice elegant day wear dress. And I paired it with my silver Calvin Klein heels that I got from Depop. I love these heels so much. Ugh. And I actually paired this with just the heels because I think it's sometimes nice, and I can't believe I'm saying this too, I'm like going against everything I stand for, but it's nice to keep things like super simple sometimes. So I pair these with like flashy heel, but then nothing else. So like no earrings, no necklace, no bracelet, no anything else. And I really like that. I think it's just, it's unexpected, at least for me. I don't know, I thought it was cute. Then this one is not exactly a dress per se, but I don't know what other category to put it in. And it is from Jones, New York. It is from Goodwill, of course, where I bought it. And it's this robe, which I've also shown off in other videos, but didn't get the chance to talk really about it. It has these interesting see-through, or at least sheer... Can you see me? I can't tell. Yeah, okay, okay, that's cool, kind of. But I originally bought it just as like a houseware piece to wear like around the house, be elegant and fancy. And I didn't really find myself doing that, like, at all, so I repurposed it as just, like, a cool outerwear piece. 
and I styled it today with what is technically also sleepwear, although I don't think it's very comfortable sleepwear, so I rock it as a dress. And that one is from Jillian O'Malley Sleepwear. But I think this robe is just a nice, unexpected accessory moment to go along with an outfit. It's not the most practical, but it is fun, and it was really cheap, so. Next up, we have got jeans. Actually, I should say pants. One pair of jeans, one pair of pants. The jeans I got are from Gap. They are a woman's basic fit. I bought them in Buffalo Exchange, so they were used. And I love this fit. It's super classic. It's a little high-waisted. It's a straight leg. It fits really well on my silhouette. And I styled these with my red blazer, which is from L Train Vintage in Brooklyn, New York. And the brand is Liz Claiborne. Liz Claiborne? I'll link to it. The next pair of pants that I got are these maroon numbers. These are from Goodwill, and the brand is Dockers. And these are definitely like more manly pants. I feel like I would wear this with a masculine outfit. Although, I shouldn't, like, determine that now. Play, don't plan. That's what I said to other people in my How to Spice Up Your Style video. Who knows what I'll wear these with? Who knows? In the try-on, I tried them on with just, like, a black t-shirt and a little strand of pearls, which actually broke right after I wore them. Sad. R.I.P. What I liked about these was just it's, like, a smart pant. It's a smart look. I feel like I could wear these to, like, a nicer event and feel comfortable, but I could also wear them very casually and feel comfortable. Oops. I always put things, like, in the wrong position, you know? Don't you just ever put things in the wrong position? <sighs> Next on the docket is... I was gonna say thwarts, shorts. Shorts are next. Welcome, shorts. The first pair are somewhere over the rainbow. So the first pair are these striped numbers that I got from the flea market, which is a great place to shop if you're near one. You never know what you're gonna find. So I got these cool like 90s, 80s, I don't know, eras striped shorts and I think they're really cool. I styled them with a shirt that is also very colorful and I wasn't sure that the pair would work but I think it's nice. And that shirt is from... It's either Bert One or Bertone. Bert One would be weird but that's kind of how it looks based on the tag. <sighs> Again, I don't know. The glasses are unknown Goodwill brand. And then quick plug, I also styled it with a shirt that I just made in my last video on how to DIY shirts or bags or anything else. Um, simple hack that I use. Really fun. Check it out if you want. This is a shirt that I made with my friend Cass's design on it and just some used fabrics that I stitched onto there. The next pair of shorts I think are super interesting. I've never really seen something like this. They're from Isalis. Isalis? This is like impossible. This is like a test. This feels like a worst nightmare of like a test I didn't prepare for. These are like high waisted shorts. I thought it was a skirt at first when I was getting them at Goodwill, of course. And I realized that they're shorts, which I just think they're really interesting. And I styled them with a plain white tee that was from Anna Christie. So check them out if you like the shirt. Because there's only one, I'm just going to lump it in with the shorts. But the skirt that I got recently is from wrapper and it's just like a plaid number i think just a super well-fitting basic i paired it with a uh, uh, claiming to be oscar de la renta scarf that i got at goodwill and then i also paired with it a blazer that is from maggie barnes and then i wanted to play with earring style i usually wear metal only but i have these poofy pom-pom ones that i got in prague at flying tiger which is a copenhagen store and then I also paired with it this sweater, which is another thing that I picked up recently from Nine West. And I bought this at, hmm, let me think, Goodwill, of course. I just love it there so much. I love it there. And this sweater is a cute basic, but I do think it's a fun femme-ish piece that I could just grab and wear and it's comfortable because I'm trying to up those in my wardrobe. I don't really have a lot of shirts that are femme in nature. I can make them femme and how I style them, but it's nice to have some that I could just like grab and feel like that desire or whatever it is, is satisfied. So I'm excited for the sweater. Continuing on with things to cover the body with is shirts. And this blousey number, which I bought from Goodwill, is the brand West Kell. And I really like it because it's flowy 
and it's like very open and has the same sort of effect as the sweater where it's femme and I don't really have to try and make it femme, it just sort of like hangs on the body in that loose fitting way that I associate with fam at least. I don't know, there's no real like right or wrong answer here, but I wore it with a jean skirt that I actually had in the last try on haul and that is from Toffs. And then the necklace is actually from Walmart, which is super random because I don't buy things new very often and I especially don't shop at Walmart. Although there was one in my college town and I think I was going to some sort of event where I wanted a long necklace and it was that day so I couldn't get it online. So it's from Walmart. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Next I have this snakeskin number, which I also got from the flea market, and cost $2. I mean, can you believe this for $2 and that other skirt for $1 just like ugh, blows my mind how much people pay for things sometimes. I really like this print. I'm super into snakeskin pattern and just overall like animal print patterns. They feel trendy and hip and cool. And this one is from Linda Allard, Ellen Tracy. <laughs> The last shirt that I have is a brown sort of plaid gingham, is it? Actually, maybe it is gingham. Maybe this is exactly what gingham is, but another basic that I think pairs well with a lot of things, and it's from Charter Club. I bought it at Goodwill. I don't even know why I paused to think at this point. And wore them with some leather pants that I found from the dumpster, actually, when I was in Prague. And it's a Czech brand called Gala. The earrings are from AliExpress, which is like a Chinese wholesale site that I get some things from sometimes because it's super cheap. It just takes a while to ship because it's from China. And then the glasses that I'm wearing are Ray-Bans, and these are probably the most expensive thing I own, except maybe the white boots, but actually both were a gift for my sister, so thanks, sis. Keeping me classy up in here to go along with all of my $1 shirts. The last bit of clothing that I have is jackets. This jacket I got at a garage sale and it was really cheap, and I think just like an interesting sort of snakeskin pattern. It's from Doll's House Outerwear, and I cut a little bit of it off because it was longer than my usual style. I styled it with my cheetah print dress, which is like the most iconic dress I own, I think at least. I love this thing so much. I bought it at Yeehaw Aloha, that same thrift store I was telling you about from my college town, and it is from Private Luxuries, which makes me think that it's also lingerie, but like, who is wearing this lingerie to bed? That sounds like so uncomfortable. To finish off, I got a few accessories. First are a pair of striped earrings that are gold and I think are really cute. I got them from Buffalo Exchange and I wore them with a blazer that I got from Goodwill, but it's Heart Marks. I'm not sure if that's the brand or just the people who tailored it, but I found in the uh, inside pocket, actually sort of recently, I've had it for a while, that it was tailored in 1996, which is the year I was born. I think that's so cool. It's one of the things that I love about used pieces is that like they have a history. They've been around literally longer than I have. And then the red top I'm wearing is from Elegant Moments. The other pair of earrings I got are gold and they're from Goodwill. They are brandless, unfortunately, but the jacket that I'm wearing with them is from Acceleration, which I think is a Target brand. The next thing that I got is this leather belt, also from the garage sale that I got the jacket from. They were both seven dollars like seven dollars total for both of those makes me want to cry it's this really interesting gold number on the buckle and a pretty red leather that i think is just a nice accent belt it adds a little bit of color to an outfit and i paired this with a shirt that i cropped and got from goodwill it's from the gap originally pants that are also from goodwill and are from dickies my shoes are vans and then my glasses are from aliexpress that site that i was talking about earlier the last thing that i got is this bag that i'm so excited about it's my first like actual practical purse. It fits my computer and it's just this really nice deep red. I wore it with the same outfit that I was wearing the belt with because I think they match nicely. It's from Cartagiano, made in Italy. And it's a nice staple bag. I've always liked bags that are a little bit structured like this. It sort of holds its form and I'm excited to wear it for a long time. I think it's well made, but it was really cheap. I think it was four dollars and something cents but you just can't beat those thrift deals oh it gives me goosebumps so that is all i have for you today thank you so much for watching i don't know why i'm doing this with my hands but i really appreciate you all being here and hopefully getting a little bit inspired in terms of like wearing something fun out there going thrift shopping i don't know Whatever your takeaway is, I appreciate you being here with me. I will see you all so soon. Let me know if there's any questions about pieces that I've worn and forgot to mention, or if there's any video requests of things you'd like to see me make. I would love that. Leave a comment down below, and goodbye. Thanks.
Darling, you